Hey everyone, this is Nathan Bixby from Chaotic This and That. I have decided to make a YouTube channel dedicated for or anything that I want it to be. There's endless possibilities and I plan on on running with that whole idea in mind. I have done episode one on a couple days ago. But I personally think that it didn't come out well, so I'm going to delete that and upload this one to YouTube. So, I hope you enjoy this one a lot better. And it's a nice day out, and I'm on this amazing swing that my at my parents' house. Because right now, I'm in Lunenburg. And I am... I have... I have moved to Somerville oh, past couple months. I mean, I'm still bringing stuff here and there and back and forth. So I'm, I'm just going with the flow and it's a nice day and I decided to make a video. So what would you expect to be on this? Well, I'm a chaotic, uh, I practice chaos magic. I'm a cha chaotic practitioner. Um, which basically means I build my own religion, and I do what works for me. I can take from this religion or that religion and use it, use it in my own practice. So, I mean, some people might not agree with that philosophy, philosophy, but it works for me. So, yeah. um, now I will get into a deeper video about that later. Um, but it will, I will do a video on that. Oh, hey Daisy. Sorry, my brother's dog is just here and she's below the screen. But I'm going to try to keep this shorter than the 30 minute one I did the other day, which I think is way too long for episode one. And let's see. I'm actually using the description on my first video to outline, to use the outline for it that I said. So what to, what can you expect? I'm going to be talking about my religious and spiritual practices. I'm going to talk about music. I love music. I can, I listen to anything and everything. I'm a music horde. Um, I collect music like No Tomorrow, anything from punk to metal to... Ooh, uh, jazz to blues to, um, yeah, just, I, I'm a music fiend. Um, let's see, uh, I'm going, I'll do reviews on different, um, different bands. Like, uh, I highly recommend you check out Human Wine. I have, um, I've reviewed them on my other sites, um, you can check those out at rebellionpit.com. I'll leave the link below down there. Um, yeah, so, oh, um, and I highly recommend you check out Human Wine because they're an amazing band. Um, they're like this folk punk. Hey, man. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. That's my dog. His name's Memphis. His brother and sister are over here, my brother's dogs, uh, Murphy and Daisy, so, yeah. So, he just wanted a little attention, too, so you'll possibly see him a lot more. I mean, he's living in Lunenburg. He's living in Lunenburg, er, because it's, it's a bigger yard, and my parents can take better care of him than I could in the city, so. Oh, yeah, I love him. He's adorable. Uh, and I got dog slobber all over my face. But, so, let's see. Um, I'll list my music blog uh, uh, below. Um, and it's called Rebellion Pit at rebellionpit.com. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, and I'll have reviews here for other stuff. I'm not subjected to one site or another for myself. I don't put myself in that bubble. But I will go in depth probably on this channel about more of the spiritual side of music maybe not i don't know i mean the reason 
the reason why a I review music I also have my audio engineering degree and I also have my Reiki master certificate uh, level three master certificate and it's not here with me because it's in storage but yeah um the reason why I I am so I want to help music out and do a lot with music and art and small businesses is I want to give back what they have given me personally in my life because music and art have been a strong influence to me. So, um, let's see. Music. I'm, I have also been interested in, um, in <laughs> alcohol. Well, I'm drinking beer right now, so that might tell you something. It's Blue Moon with a pretty little picture on it. I like it. It's good. But I've been teaching myself, I've been educating myself on wine, on um, beer, on different types of alcohol, bourbon. I love bourbon, but I love whiskey, but not allowed to have it in, ga in full bottles anymore. So, yeah, that's a story for another day. <laughs> uh, let's just put it St. Patrick's Day in... A bunch of bottles of whiskey so yeah I'm um, St. Patrick's Day in Boston I should say uh, so yeah, um, what else what else did I write down I will be talking about oh I'll also review tea I love tea especially ginger tea that is like my kryptonite and I don't really drink alcohol that often I mean I'll have a beer during the day and like a glass of a bottle of wine in a week shared by amongst all people. But I try to stick to my drinking habits in a responsible way. And no one under 21 should drink. That is the disclaimer. By law, you can't unless you're in Europe or something, I guess. I don't know their laws. But... I am not responsible for anyone watching this who decides to get drink a beer under a certain age. I I only drink what responsible adults should drink. That is my disclaimer. Uh, because I don't know I don't know the laws and I don't want to be held responsible for other people's stupidity. Um, let's see. Uh hmm. Oh, and I've been teaching myself how to cook. I'll do um, I'll do recipes. I'll do some cooking. I'm teaching myself, so if it's not good, then I'm sorry. But I've been told I make a badass lemon pepper chicken, and it's all natural, I guess. I mean, the way I make it. I mean, all I do is add lemons and chicken and a special seasoning, and wham, bam, cook it for a while, and... Boom! You guys, really, really good meal. Um, let's see. What else? Um, let's see. I'll do rants. I'm a big talker. I like to talk. Um, I do not want to get into politics on this, uh, even though, because my political views are very, very strong, and and it will just take up too much time and probably have way too many arguments. And apparently I'm really apathetic lately about my pol political views, so I just don't care. Sorry. If that, hey, man. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay, guys. Hi. Oh, Daisy Murphy. Hi. Oh, wow. Well, hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. Oh. Hi, Murph. Yeah, that one's... And Daisy is too short for her to see. She's a little spotted one in the back. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> uh, what else is there? I'm trying to get this done faster than 30 minutes because that is way too long, um, in my personal opinion. And it's a nice day out and such, so let's see. Oh, come on. Yes, I'm reading it off my phone from my old video, and I am... Okay. Let's see. Um, food. I'm also oh, and going to talk about healthy stuff. Um, 
because I've been working my health. I've been, I lost so much weight and I'm still going to be working. Hi, Mev. Hi. Yes. Yes, I know you want attention and I'm not giving it to you. I try not to give Hev them attention when all three are here because I don't want them fighting and when one gets jealous of the other it's a full out brawl and I don't want to have to split up a doggy fight because they can get very 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 vicious I have come out with battle scars I mean none right now I mean besides Memphis exciting excitement to see me over the uh, a couple days ago. No no major battle scars from me. For me. Because as I came back from Somerville this weekend and he was so excited and happy to see me, he just gave me, jumped up and gave me a huge hug and left some scratch marks. But what do you expect when you don't see each other for a while? Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, I'm going to talk about my journey in life. Um, I am on a really positive journey with my career, with my life, with um, where I've moved. I'm really happy about everything. Every day is like a new adventure for me, so I'll keep you up to date on my journey through life. Um, and yeah, so that is amazing. I'm going to try to keep it... Uh, a little less than 20 minutes because after 15 people stop paying attention um and right now it's at 11 45 <laughs> so um let's see my journey health uh well-being career i'll talk a little about my career i try not to i don't want to get too into it but i'm loving everything i do i mean i am Right now, I'm working at, as a production assistant at UR Business Network, and it is really amazing. Um, and I'm trying to get a job with the Bowery of Boston, which they put on shows as well. I want to keep both jobs because I love them, and I think I can do it, but it might be a little... I mean, might be a lot of work, but worth it in the end. Um, let's see. Um, I want to do interviews. With certain people I find interesting, with different bands, different people of different faiths, and get their input on their spirituality and, like, see what... Because I'm not subjected to one religion or another, I don't put myself in that box, but someone who has a different view than me, I will... Where I love learning from them, and I love, love learning about other cultures, religions, and whatever, whatever else is, is, I'm just, I love learning, I, I mean, <laughs> try telling my high school teachers that, uh, they wouldn't believe me, but I love to learn, I mean, maybe not math, I hated math, um, but, yeah, I mean, kids, if you're watching this, learn math, um, look at me, I'm telling random people who might not even be watching this to learn math, just because I hate it doesn't mean, just because I hate it doesn't mean someone else won't, no, oh. do good in school, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to be, I don't want this, it is going on more than 30 minutes again, because that is just too long, um, Views. And I'm also going to be doing hauls. I have gotten a bunch of stuff lately that I want to show off um, that I think is really cool. A um, couple band t-shirts that are limited edition I kind of want to show off, do a reveal because they're still packaged and I've been in the process of moving in. Yeah. And I have a couple books. I'll possibly do book reviews, but I'm a slow ass reader very slow, like, it takes me a year to read one book, so I just listen to the audio, yeah, look at me, I'm just cupping my ears and just pretending I am have, like, one of those headphone sets, but also, um, just to put it out there, I am gay, I'm a homo to the uh, fullest extent, um, I, I mean, 
If you are offended on that, please leave my page because I don't want to have to deal with some homophobic bullshit. I mean, fuck that shit. And I swear, I swear like a fucking sailor. Um, so if I swear, then I'm sorry. I mean, yes, I'm trying to become more professional and not swear. But, I mean, <laughs> when I don't have to impress people... Oh, then I don't feel the need to ooh, um, not swear. I mean, swearing is, swearing is fun. I mean, okay, kids, do not swear in school. I mean, I don't know who the hell is watching this. I mean, and teenagers are not my target audience. And yes, I use the word target audience because I'm, because I learned that from my marketing class, which... I love, and it helped me get a job, kind of, not really, um, I work at Your Business Network, and they're like a content creating marketing radio show, they have everything from right-wing politics to left-wing politics, um, to, uh, to holistic healing, uh, to book, oh, show and books, to, I mean, there's a wide variety, and some of it, I love some of it I disagree with, but I love my job. All I do is edit edit the... Hi, Murph. Hi. Yes, hi. This is Murphy. This is my brother's dog. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you answer? Thank you. Thank you, Murphy. Oh, now Memphis is coming here. Hi, Memph. Oh, hi. 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 Yes. Yes, hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh my god, doggy kisses. Okay, so, um, also, um, in case you're wondering what I am watching on YouTube, um, let's see, I am watching Joe DeVoe, um, I am so far behind on her stuff that I'm thinking of just starting her, starting her whole YouTube channel over, um, I mean, that's probably gonna be a lot of videos, um, uh, Ember Honey Raven, even the Big Fat Witch, um, she's actually doing this Witchy University, which I highly recommend checking out, because each week she posts, um, posts a different topic, and you're supposed to learn it throughout the week. I am, like, four weeks behind in that, so I gotta catch up. I'm thinking possibly doing two a week, but, uh, I mean, if not, I'll just probably go from, um, whatever they're doing next, uh, let's see. Uh, check out hers. She ha has a lot of good information. Like, um, she is big into, uh, I can't think right now. She's big into a lot of things. Um, like, she practices with Hecate, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I mean, look, look on her video. Um, uh, what else? Uh, she likes incense. She's obsessed with incense. Um, and... Ember Honey Raven, if you're watching this, yes, um, please don't hold me against what I say. I'm trying to be positive to the, to, I'm trying to give people an idea of what you watch. Just click her link below to get a full view. Um, and she is a very, um, she's a very sassy, very sassy YouTube, um, YouTube channel. She, yeah. She's a very sassy person, from what I gather. Um, she's from Arkansas, which um, is really cool. Um, and I love her accent. Her accent is awesome, but I don't even know if she knows that she has an accent. Just like I don't know if I have a a um, Boston or Massachusetts accent, which I probably do. But I don't know. I just love accents. I think they're fun. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Ghost Dogpile, um, her wife, um, Ember Honey Raven's wife, I think that's okay to say because she mentions it on her channel that they're married, but her wife has a channel called Ghost Dogpile, um, she does all these, um, really cool reviews on certain stuff, like, um, she has done two on a cool Leatherman tool, Leather the utility tool that, um, has a, uh, 
Oh my god, it has a fucking um, what's it called? It's a Leatherman. It's a leather le le Leatherman leather. It's like that utility thing. You, you just look it up and Google search it. Um, and look at her YouTube. Her YouTube's fun. I hope she does more because I would love to um, love to know what is a good tool to use. Um, oh god, I hit twenty. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I also watch, um, The Four Queens, Kelly Maddox is a mad genius, um, she talks a lot about her practice, and she does a lot of things about, um, she just has good quality information about everything, and she's a plethora of knowledge, um, I mean, everyone I watch has a plethora of knowledge, um, but she's a very fluent speaker, and she her words are really elegant, and they flow. Um, and she also um, she right now she's doing self love September, which is amazing because we all need a little self love. Uh, love we need to love ourselves and respect ourselves. Um, yes, and I'm saying um a lot, and I know I have to edit ums out for my job because it may, to make people sound owned better and I have to also cut out dead air. Hi Moif. Hi you. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, Murph, go. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um also I watch my witchy side. Amber Honey Ravens are part of that as well as a couple other witches. Um let's see. I also watch Transgression or listen to Transgression transgression radio check the link below all these links are going to be down below the in the description area um and transgression um there there are a bunch of artists who like do interviews and talk about like anything from sigils to artwork um they have sigil saturdays which you should check out and damien eccles from the west memphis three um is part of that if you're not familiar about the West Memphis Three, check them out. Um, check wa uh, watch the documentaries, uh, uh, Paradise Lost One, Two, and Three, as well as um, Reese Witherspoon. They made uh, she was in a documentary about them. Um, who else? Uh, they got a lot of supporters, and you should really read their uh, check out. Um, read their story and check it out. But Damien is a chaos practitioner now, um, and he, it's really cool, um, right now he's tattooing his whole body, a, uh, with his Book of Shadows, which I find, like, amazing, like, I think w that's a way to do it, it's, I mean, he's drawing out, um, his book, and, like, he's, like, getting it tattooed all over him, so, uh, what else, um, yeah, so happy he's free. Now they just need to be exonerated because of that fucking bullshit. Um, what else? Um, transgression. I think I hit all the topics. Um, I wanted to start my video off with the new moon because new moon, new generation, but uh, uh, not new cycle, new moon, new everything, bright and shiny. But I started it. It. I did the first. First episode, <laughs> get that first first. Um, I did the first first episode uh, the day after the full uh, full moon. Um, because it just felt right. I just felt energized. Um, but this is, I mean, I think I was really more or random and off topic in the other video, but um, but it's I think the new moon has given me. Time, it's like kick me in the ass and be like you need to do something you need to do it right um just give that little boot and i totally agree i'm um i am doing a new youtube channel and i feel really confident in it and i think it will go far and it is at 24 37 um 39 40 41 yeah so i'm going to leave this channel all uh, this episode as is right now because 
I think I did a better job and I condensed it down to 25, which is five minutes less. Uh, I cut out all my goofy stuff, which, I mean, some people not agree with, but, um, yeah, thank you for watching my, uh, my first YouTube episode, um, congratulations, um, if you want to hit subscribe, I think it's in this corner, and like down there, I would really appreciate it, um, thank you so much for your time, and until next time, this is Nathan Bixby with Chaotic This and That.